Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun haul. I'm so excited for this guy because this is my 29th birthday that just passed and I will be 30 this year. So I've decided I needed to make a few bizarre purchases that I've just kind of always wanted. But there's a backstory to this because I was traveling last week or so and I did end up in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now I'm sure most of you are familiar with Vegas. It's like the gambling casino world of the United States and I know a lot of my friends from Sri Lanka and overseas have been to Vegas. But if you haven't been to Vegas, I'll definitely throw up some pictures so you guys can see it, but it's a very over the top place. So Las Vegas, Nevada is like the super big well known place for gambling and it's called the Las Vegas Strip or the Las Vegas Boulevard. It's basically one long row of hotels and casinos and a lot of really really high-end shopping. So I would think that this is what like all of Dubai looks like so if you're from a place like Dubai or Europe it's probably not that exciting for you. Someone like me who lives in a very small town in America, Vegas is about as close as I'm going to get to really high-end shopping. So I was really excited because I had always, always, always wanted to buy a designer purse. If you guys know me or have known me for a long time, I'm really into fashion and makeup, obviously. I started off as a fashion blogger a very long time ago, and I really used to be into fashion. I still follow a lot of fashion. I love watching like Lydia Milner, I think is her last name, here on YouTube. She does a lot of like high-end videos and like unboxings and stuff like that. So I'm kind of one of those people that has a champagne diet on a beer budget, as people would say. I don't really have a ton of extra money to fork out for designer goods because in my alternate universe, I think I would love to be like head to door designer just because that's what I love. I think high end fashion is so interesting and there's so much more to it than being stylish. I think there's a lot of thought process put into it and I think it's so cool like how designer pieces are constructed and things like that. So now I'm just straight up rambling. Anyway, I made some purchases. I wanted to do a little unboxing slash haul video for you guys. I'll start off with my small little Sephora haul from Vegas. So I live in Fargo. I've definitely mentioned that before in my videos and we don't even have a real Sephora store. We have a Sephora inside JCPenney. I also have a cat named Sephora, if you guys didn't know. and. A lot of the time people don't realize that Sephora is a makeup store. It's so funny, like people will always, like at the vet, they're always just like, um, the cat, the cat's name is um, a Sephora and I'm like, yeah, like have you never heard of Sephora? You know, you think like everyone knows what Sephora is, but they don't where I live. So anyway, went to a real Sephora store, like a freestanding Sephora store. I think this was the one in... The Venetian. I didn't buy a whole lot, but it was fun because they had a lot of brands that I don't get to see. So I picked up this new foundation by Bobbi Brown. This is the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15 full coverage, oil-free shine control. So this puppy is matte, like matte as matte can be. I got the shade Golden Honey 5.75, and I think this is a good match for me right now. This is a frosted bottle and you get one ounce of product. I did wear this while I was I was in Vegas and I definitely thought it was really, really matte. So I don't know if I'll be able to wear it in the winter time, but it was just kind of one of those really, really fun purchases where I got to be in store and get color matched and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. I also mixed this with my NARS Sheer Glow, which is the foundation I took with me when I was traveling. And I think that helped t tone down the matteness. But if you have oily skin, I feel like you would really like this foundation. But I need to test it some more. She did also give me a sample of the Bobbi Brown Bare Glow Illuminating Moisturizer Balm. So I need to try that out. And then I bought, oh, I did buy a nail polish. It's actually this color that I have on my nails right now. This is by Nails Inc. And I think it was called like Diamond Dust or something. It's really pretty. It has like a gold shift. So it's got like a pink base with like a gold shift. I used to get my nails done quite a bit last year, but it was like making my nails so brittle. And at one point I got like stiletto nails and I hated them. So I ripped them off. And after that I was like, mm, you know, I could save a ton of money not getting my nails done and just painting them at home. 
So I've decided to do that. Anyway, I did get to swatch these in store. These are the Stila Shimmer and Glow, not to be confused with the Glitter and Glow, which is all glitter. This is Shimmer and Glow, and they had a bunch of beautiful colors. I honestly could see myself buying almost all the colors they have available, but I decided to limit myself to two shades. This is cool. So it's very much like the Shimmer and Glow, except it's, or the, the Glitter and Glow, except this one is a very opaque. It's almost like a nail polish for your eyelids, and I love the rose gold packaging. So it's very like, I don't know, it goes on very creamy, and it's really beautiful when it dries down. The only problem I have, because I did wear this color, by the way, this is the color Starlit, um, or Starlight, sorry, Starlight. It dries beautifully, but you cannot blend that. So that's the part I'm like, I need to figure out how to use them, because if it's not blendable, that's kind of a problem. This is the other shade everyone's raving about. It's called La Douche, I believe is how you say it. And it's a beautiful, like, green color, green gold color. And everyone's been raving about it. It's kind of like a smokier green gold shade. And so I'm really glad to have these. And I definitely feel like I want to pick up more. But uh, let me grab my shimmer and glows. So I only have two of the shimmer and glows because, honestly, like, you don't need a ton of this product. So I have Kitten Karma, which Kitten by Stila is one of their very famous shades. So as you can see, it's very glittery compared to the Shimmer and Glow. And then I also have Molten Midnight, which was kind of a cool shade. I think I saw Kathleen Lights use this in a tutorial, and I was like, oh my gosh. So it has like a black base with a ton of gold shimmer, and Kitten Karma is a rose gold base with a lot of gold. So you can see how different these are. This is more like a satin, whereas this is more metallic looking. Um, neither of these are easy to blend on your eyeballs, so keep that in mind. But very excited to have added these to my collection. So yeah, that's one thing I picked up from Sephora in Las Vegas. And then the last thing I picked up, because they have Natasha Denona in the freestanding Sephoras, and this was a bigger Sephora too, I saw this and it reminded me of those new Natasha Denona palettes I had bought. So this is her Duo Glow in the shade Alba and I just thought this was beautiful. I'm really into like shimmery blushes right now. So I bought this. It's like a peachy color. The other color she had is like a pink. So this is like a peach with a golden shift to it. Hopefully you guys can see it. It kind of actually looks like my nail polish except just more peach. So I think in the summertime, this will just be so beautiful. I feel like that colorful shimmer blush trend is really in right now. So yeah, that is the makeup I picked up in Las Vegas. Okay, so now that you saw the makeup, I'm going to show you some of the high-end purchases I made. Now, I would definitely say I do spend money on really ridiculously pricey makeup items, but it's very rare that I spend a lot of money on luxury designer goods but I was like when in Vegas you gotta pick up everything you need because I'm not a person that will spend like five hundred fifteen hundred dollars online <laughs> I want to be able to see it in person so one thing I definitely had in mind to pick up was something from Gucci and of course this is very basic of me because this is such a trend right now but I did buy a Gucci belt I really don't know too much about, like, I'm, like, trying to think, oh, I already got makeup on this. Like, that's so embarrassing. My, like, belt box. I don't even know if they told me, like, what size I bought or anything. I just looked at it. Oh, here we go. So, it's a, it's a Belt Moon Narrow. I don't even know. And this was $450, and then I paid tax, so it was a little bit under $500, but this is what the box looks like, and then here is the... Uh, dust bag that it comes with of course like I don't know like if a lot of you buy luxury goods that watch my channel it's really I'm not like a fashion channel by any means so I'm not sure but Gucci belts are super in style right now and it's not something I would have done online by any means but since I was there in person I got to go into the Gucci store and pick this up I decided to go ahead and do it. Let me see on here. So 
I don't even know what my belt size is or anything, but it's stamped, so I know it's authentic. Um, that's something I always, you know, it's like if you're going to spend the money, obviously you want to be able to authenticate it. I don't think I'll ever resell this or anything. I want to get a lot of good wear out of this, and I've already worn it, and it's really nice. These are handmade belts, and then this is really nice and weighted. I think I saw, like, three different sizes. There's a skinny belt. This is, like, the mid-size, and there's a thicker size that had a really beautiful, like, mauve color. I was really tempted, except the buckle was, like, really, really Gucci, and I was like, mmm. So I went for this size, which I believe is, I don't know if you'd call it the medium, but it was so funny because I went in store and the guy, I was like, I'm looking for a Gucci belt. And he's like, oh, let me guess. You want the black one with the gold belt? And I was like, yes, I'm sorry. I'm such a basic bitch. It was so funny because I'm sure like everyone and their grandma are looking for these belts because they're so easy to style and they're so trendy right now so I don't know if this is like one of those things that's going to be a classic style forever. Gucci is just so hot right now. I mean their bags are amazing. I don't know. I'm not a designer shopper. I just I just knew this was one I wanted so I went for it while I was in the city and I just wanted to tell you guys that it was really fun to buy it. So the next item and this is the big guy. I purchased my first luxury bag and it is a Louis Vuitton bag if you follow me on Instagram you would have already seen me unbox it but I wanted to obviously film a video for you guys so I have known that I've wanted a designer bag for a really really long time and there's so many beautiful pieces like if I could have any bag in the world it would definitely be like a Celine bag because I love those tote bags they are beautiful I love Chloe Gucci Prada, Dior, like Hermes, like imagine if I had money to buy a Birkin bag, like I think I might pass out and I'd be living in a mansion. But anyway, so Louis Vuitton is just one of those brands you've seen, you know, growing up and stuff like that. And I feel like it's sucky because there's so many like fake Louis Vuitton purses out there. So that's something to keep in mind too, because I was like, oh, I'm going to be so basic, but I love the history of the brand, I love their roots in luggage, and it was more than just, oh, I need to have a designer bag so I can like keep up with the Joneses. That was not it for me, it's just my love of fashion coming out of like, I really just wanted, like before I die, one of the things I wanted to do, accomplish, was to have a designer purse, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You're definitely going to want to go with, you know, what you have the means for, and Right now, it's this is what I could afford. So I had it narrowed down to kind of staying under like the $1,500 mark, which is not really a whole lot for a designer purse because if you just go on like the Louis Vuitton website, trust me, like $1,500 is not a lot to spend on a Louis Vuitton. Um, but I knew the bags that were in that price range. I kind of had my mind uh, to get a Neverfull, which is their tote bag. I'll throw up a picture if you don't know what I'm talking about. But these are pretty, you know, trendy bags. I've seen a lot of Neverfulls just in my lifetime. Um, and that was the kind of the one I was going for. But it's a very, like, giant tote. And I was, like, kind of conflicted because it doesn't have a zipper. So I was like, am I really going to spend this amount of money on a purse that I can't zip up? Because I could just see myself, like, knocking the bag over and all my stuff's just like coming out of it. So it's interesting, it's very conflicting. I was standing in the Louis Vuitton store in Vegas and I'm like, oh my God, like, do I want the toad? Do I want the bag I got? And I was like, which one, which one? And then it so happened that real stepmom actually called me because she was on the same trip as me and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh my gosh, I may or may not be standing at the Louis Vuitton store. I may or may not be trying to decide between two purses. I was like, can you please come help me? And she was like, yeah. She's like, I'd love to. And it was so sweet because I really did need the help. I really couldn't decide. And so she came and I showed her the two bags and she's like, definitely this one. She's like, I love these bags and it looks so cute. And she loved the print I had picked out. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And fun fact too, if you are a designer newbie like I am. Louis Vuitton does ship for free and I believe if you don't have a Louis Vuitton store in your state then when they ship it to you they don't charge you tax. 
So that was really cool. I was able to save about $100 on my purse. Um, so it sucked because I had to wait to get home to use my bag. But I still saved 100 bucks, and the bag was delivered within like two days. It does come with a signature requirement because obviously you're shipping like a $1,500 purse. So they don't want it to get stolen. So you do need to mail it to somewhere where somebody is available to sign for the bag. Um, but I can't think of anything else and it was fine. It was safe. Like nothing was damaged or anything like that. It came in a nice big box. So this is the packaging or the uh, box the bag comes in and you, you'll see these all over if you watch any like Louis Vuitton unboxings. It's like this nice orange box. It's very nice and hearty and it's magnetized. So that's really cool. I obviously don't have the bag in here because I already took it out and started using it. But here is the inside and mine came with the gold ribbon wrapped around it, which is a really nice detail. I cannot figure out how to get that gold ribbon back on. And it also came with a dust bag. So again, if you make any designer purchases, it always comes with a dust bag. I think even Michael Kors, if you buy from like a Michael Kors store or a Macy's store, will come with a dust bag. Coach, all those bags where you're spending more than $100 for usually will come with a dust bag. So here is the box and then if you haven't seen on my Instagram, then you don't know, but I actually decided to go with the Speedy, which is ridiculous because I never ever thought I would want a Speedy. I just like this shape. I'm like, is this really me at all? Like I didn't think this was me at all, but I decided to go with the Speedy. This is the 36 mm, I think is how you said. I don't know. Um, but this is one of Louis Vuitton's original bags because again, like I said, they started off as a luggage company. So if you've seen their bigger travel duffel bags, they are all this shape. And basically, I believe from what I understand, the Speedies were made for Audrey Hepburn who had Louis Vuitton luggage and she wanted a bag to go with her luggage. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I can't believe I chose the Speedy. I feel like the speedy, the shape was just so not me at all. And once I put it on and tried it on, I was so impressed with it because I love that it's a crossbody. If you guys know me, I wear a lot of crossbody bags just because it works so well with my lifestyle. I love being hands-free when it comes to purses. And you can also just like hold it like this. So if I was going somewhere more dressy uppy, I would carry it like this. And the crossbody strap, can also be adjusted so I can take this part out and shorten it. So if I wanted to, I could just wear it as a shoulder bag as well, which I think is great utility. I probably won't do that, but who knows? I bought a Speedy, like I can't believe it. And it has the gold hardware. And this is the Damier, Damier, Damier print. I don't, I don't even know how to say it. This is how unfancy I am, but um, this is the checker print. I didn't get the monogram print because that's just not me. Um, they also have this print comes in the gray and white. Again, not me. So I went with this color because I feel like it'll go so well with everything in my closet, basically. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I did ask the salesperson how you could tell the difference between an authentic Louis Vuitton and a fake. And she said the biggest tell is if you watch the print, so on here, there's little bits that say like Louis Vuitton. And if it's an authentic bag, if you look around, it's one piece of leather. So the Louis Vuitton on this side is gonna be upside down, which is cool to know because I was just interested in finding that out. So on the inside, it has red, which is really beautiful. It's like a nice bright red. And there's not really a whole lot of pockets. So your stuff is gonna like float around in there. But I did see online, like on Amazon and stuff, you can get like a organizer that'll just fit right in to give you slots to organize your stuff in. So I think I might do that. And then it came with the lock and the key, which I don't know if I'm gonna use that on my bag. And yeah, so actually, sorry, this is a Speedy 35 B-A-N-N. I don't even know what half of these things mean. <laughs> But yeah, so it's a speedy 35, not 36. I don't I don't know why I had 36 in my brain. And then there's a little pocket in here. I don't even know what you put in there. And then she showed me the authentication tag is where is it? I believe it's under here somewhere. Oh, right here. So there's a serial number here, which basically tells Louis Vuitton where your bag was made and what year it was produced in. So 
really cool. I really like this. I'm going to style this a million different ways. And yeah, I just can't believe I have a Louboutin bag finally. And I feel like now I can die happy. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. Uh, but I don't know. I'm just really into fashion, guys. So it is what it is. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, if you guys have any more questions on the Speedy, let me know. I'm definitely not an expert, but I chose Louis Vuitton because it's one of those brands that's been around for a long time. The Speedy is one of their classic designs. So I feel like if I ever wanted to resell it, I, I could. I probably will never resell it because I feel like this is one of those classic bags that I kind of want to treasure and maybe pass on to, you know, my kids someday if we have kids or whatever, you know, the future has in store for us that way. I'm very proud of this. I feel like there's more Louis Vuitton in my future for me. But for now, I am very happy with my choice. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or, you know, brilliant insights, I'd be sure happy to read them. That's it for my Las Vegas haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do upload every other day, so I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much and have a good week, guys. Bye.